Okay, I bunned up my hair today because it's super warm, but today I really felt like watching Tick Tick Boom. I watched it immediately when it came out, which was like 10 p.m. at night here. So I don't really remember it. I've watched lots of clips on YouTube and sort of been, you know, doing, absorbing lots of information about it. So I'd love to watch it again now that I've got a bit more background info about everything. But anyway, let's get into Tick Tick Boom. Having issues with my wireless earphones again, so back to earphones we go. I'm excited. I still remember watching the movie and obviously all the songs I've rewatched on YouTube a million times, but I haven't like sat down and watched the film properly since I half watched it at like midnight when it first came out on Netflix. All at once. Boom. I never knew why I was called Tick Tick Boom, actually. Before the Pulitzer Prize. Susan's narrating, isn't she? Before. We dedicate this opening night and every rent. performance to our. I've actually seen the movie version. I didn't mind it because I don't. I don't. But I know people say that like it pales in comparison to the real thing. But I'm not likely to ever see the real thing on Broadway. So. It's 1990. The setting. My sister was born in 1990. I'm 91. I have rejection letters from every major and minor producer, theater company, record. Yeah, making it into any aspect of show business just sounds way too hard. Talent can only get you so far. It's all about luck and connections. They already had two kids. They had careers with steady paychecks, a mortgage. I always joked about turning 30 and all my friends are like, you're married with a house and a kid and a pretty city career. Birthday. I'm one of the luckier ones in my generation. <laughs> I just love listening to him. I hope he does more musicals after this. I remember at school, people would do the thing where they sing happy birthday at you. I didn't want to lie down and cry. I did want to run away and hide. I don't like people focusing on me. <laughs> He's got a beautiful voice too. So I don't actually know who he is. They're singing happy birthday. You just wish you could run away. Uh Ooh. Robin the Jesus, right? He was in um in the Heights. Craig Carnelia? This Susan's is Rosa, your agent who hasn't returned your call. I love her hair. God, I love musicals so much that it hurts that I can't sing or dance. But I will appreciate them. I'm sure I'm not alone. Hi, Jonathan. It's Deborah. Susan just dropped off your music for tonight's dance piece. But I can't get the speakers to work. Is that a rent reference? Say something. Anything. Test one, two, three. Anything but that. Then, when I finally do get in the room, I sing, I don't know, six measures if I'm lucky before they cut me. That happened soon on um, the last five years. I remember, um, girls complaining about it. What's her name? I'm waiting five hours in line and watching the girls just coming and going in dresses that look just like this. My workshop is next week. What workshop? <laughs> that was funny. T cell count is good. My doctor feels oh, cautiously okay. optimistic. And that was a really big thing in um, rent as well because I never um, really knew about that whole epidemic thing because. It's not really um, kind of well, not talked about, but there's just a lot of stuff that you don't kind of really learn until you get older and you find it through other things. Start the beat, guys. I got a song. I got a song to sing. I, everyone's winding down. He's like, nope, keep going. Mates, prick up your ears. And I know they, um, this is really how John's apartment looked, and right? And John and and Carolyn, and everything is dying. I thought by now I'd have a dog, a kid, and wife. <laughs> well, thanks for telling me. It's at the bottom of a very large pile. Oh. And a lot of, like, shows and TV shows, people's always getting locked out in roofs. I would be so terrified of it. I've never lived in an apartment building. Just kind of lived in your yeah, houses or 
Yeah, like little townhouses in town, but never an apartment building where you could go up to the roof. Take this. The green, green dress. I heard this song. I kind of wish they kept oh, their version. Hold on. Walking 13 blocks with 30 pounds of laundry in the so freezing much. dead of oh. winter. Rent the first song and rent. When the notes are sour, where is the power? No, no, we're moving on up. Okay, I've got a very cute best friend energy. I like it. I was always in the trailer, the him in the elevator and that crosses to him in the subway. Reviving members hey, it's, of um, dwindling tribes. Uh, I forget his name, but he did the piano, Alex something, the piano for Hamilton. Your. It's a good start. It's like trying to work on anything, you know, you can never really force it. Director of the Schubert yeah, Organization so for La Mama, song, so it's Larson L A R S O N. Get as no, much people Larson. as I it's can. It's something that's never been done before. It's going to be quite the event. It has true. That bells. Yep, lots of final notices, or things are turning off. North Carolina Senator. Ah, uh, yes. It's always in the background there, which is why it's quite strong in wind as well, because I guess it's happening in his life. Oh my god. I love you. Are <laughs> uh, they want She's still trying to be supportive, but at the same time, she's got her own pressures. The job? Oh. Yeah. Um I literally can't think about anything but the song. Still just your. You. <laughs> oh, I feel that. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is, um, you can't decide, right? Johnny can't decide? And obviously there'd be a part of him that, you know, loves her and wants to go with her. But... His passion and drive is, you know, in his music. He wants both. I think everyone can relate to, you know, being at a crossroads. It's two things you really want, but, you know, you can't. What helps you land one way or the other? I should go to the hospital. When am I going to go to the hospital? I need to write. When am I going to write? I need to talk to Sue. It's a lot, a lot going on. Up. Hello, that sounded like Lynn. That's Lynn. That's Lisa Lynn. <laughs> and everyone here is like really big Broadway stars, right? I've seen videos about it, but I can't place them. Richard. Richard. It's just those two, eh? Hey? It's just. Cop. Richard. Mimosas, please. She got a new job, okay? Me there, put some. Angelica. Eliza. Like whatever customer service job you have you start to realize when the busiest times are and you always dread when you're the one who's put on that shift oh, it sounds so beautiful everyone's singing love me some choruses i love this bit how it pushes it down And I did notice Angelica and Eliza are wearing their colors from Hamilton. So low. Those crazy colors, the weird green screen going on. Their lives just staring at the screens of their media transmitters watching. Feels like a Black Mirror episode. The trend today is to say the adjective fun a lot. It's perfect, keep going, keep going. Start, start. Very boppy, I like it. She <laughs> needs an answer by tomorrow. I need to give them a decision about the job by tomorrow. You can see in both of their faces, he's like, I need to get back to this. And she's like, literally, give me a minute. Right. Or it's better the synthesizer. Definitely gives it more of that space opera feel, which is I guess what he's going for. Satellite in color, it's an 18 hour function with commercial interruption, both the marvelous and glorious. 
I love the words. I love the words. I love the lyrics. It's just kind of clever play on words kind of thing. Must be nice seeing this thing come to life, but you still need that one song. Oh, there he goes. Can I kind of eat his face with his hands? Time for some hey, therapy. Hey, you could have called first. I did. I just did. I do kind of wish they'd release this whole song by itself too. Bad I love this song so much. Feeling bad. It does feel like a lot of arguments could just boil down to this. You know, that I'm sorry, that you're sorry about what I did and that you reacted to this. I Stewing on things, I feel like, is never a good idea. <laughs> trying to write a song for a they are both, their emotions are just, now is not the good time to talk about this, but there's been no good time to talk about this. I've been telling you how unhappy I am for just, months! If you don't have a problem with my problem, <laughs> maybe the problem smiles, simply codependency. <laughs> the choreography, the crazy eyes, the happy smiles, I love all of it. For the workshop, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, the workshop. after. She needed an answer by Everything Wednesday, though. is after the workshop. And now we've gone from upset to frustrated, and now we're just mad. And we're just trying to hurt each other. Back to the song. I, feel bad that you feel bad about me. I love this bit. You know, one person's going fast, the other person's going slow. What do you... She just wants to know what that you this? still care about her what do you want? of your workshop. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, th I thought of a, like a, a tune or something. Still, not, not the best timing to start there, considering what she was just arguing with you about. And then we have therapy tomorrow, it's to let us grow, so let's just get some rest. Oh, it's so funny. Turn to the task at hand. And then and we are here to develop a name of a like revolutionary consumer going. product that is just about to hit your shelves. Drugs. Looks good. Side effects. Mm. There are some side effects associated with yeah. the product that I've been in. Substitute. <laughs> it isn't funny. Michael has also got a lot of things on his mind and things going on in his life. I'm making art. Ooh, that's what the world needs more art. And now everyone's mad because we haven't talked in a while. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, like, right. They did tell you to pay the power. ...of my musical in 12 hours, sorry, and, 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 and there is no voice, way... Voice. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, look, 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 I, 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 I can... I can... I can... Swim. This is also another of my favourite songs. I think it wasn't included when he did the one-man show, because it's hard to do, but... In movie format, it works so well. Answer my calls. Sweat, wet, wet echoes. Echo. Smell, smell hell, hell rap. rap. Come up, up the volume, volume hot, hot, wet, hot, hot sweat. sweat. And yeah, since he's already a, like you know a professional swimmer, they were able to use uh, film this without the swimming double. Three oh fight the air seven. There's that girl one two. I feel like if you're doing any sort of workout thing, this has got the right pacing for it. Six. Brown skin and wet hair. Whoa, 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 wet hair. What does inspiration do be like that? I mean, his brain's already warped into overdrive. I think I might have done this in Big Bang Theory too. We're doing something repetitive, like swimming or something. Focusing on that lets your brain be, you know, other parts of your brain free to wander and sort of do other stuff, like write a song. <laughs> The what? presentation doesn't start till 10. <laughs> oh, thank God. Got a new song. Come to your senses. That's so beautiful, that song. Which way will he go? The, uh, you know, the female lead needs to You're give him a push. She sings so beautifully. I wish she had more songs. The always volume. like that line, you've turned off the volume just when, just when I've begun to sing. To... I don't know, it's just, this whole song's just so pretty. All oh, that, tonight. Tonight. that Jonathan Lawson! I can't wait to see what he does next. 
Never what do you mean? What? No, uh, no, this is, this is my Who one thing. I'm reading a comment somewhere saying that basically this musical is about, you know, being a writer or an artist struggling for their art. I don't understand. I'm running out of time. You are not running out of time. You don't know anything don't know. about it. I'm HIV positive. Why didn't you tell me sooner? He's so focused on his work that literally didn't see what was going on around him. I'm getting teary. Just, I lost a close friend in high school, actually. She had cancer. And then she went into remission and then she got it again and this time it was bad and she didn't make it. That was like the first time I lost someone close to me. We just sit there talking until three in the morning. Those, you know, illnesses out there. About our plans. But they're just pretty much a death sentence. About how one day... Hopefully, one day modern science will catch up. Sing. They both found their love of musicals and obviously John found his a lot stronger I was and of course 16, you know they sing Michael West Side Story I another classic God. I watched the original once but I haven't actually watched it since then I've been wanting to see the um, remake with Spielberg right I think that's coming on to Disney Plus soon so I might do a reaction to that as well because I haven't seen it oh and of course they make up hugs <laughs> And they'll get through it, and now, Sunday. happy birthday, John. My 30th birthday. And this John, is the real Stephen Sondheim. I'm here. Rosa gave me this number, I hope it's okay. He's like, oh my god. And um, I think he did, didn't give him a script for this, they're like, just say whatever. I, I didn't know that you were on the Breakup may have been bad, but now that again they're talking and their emotions are at a regular level, they can talk a bit, talk it out. Yeah. Rent. I really want to rewatch that. Maybe I'll rewatch that one soon. Twelve years. Adina Menzel. It changed the definition of Was this her first could be. Broadway one? What it could sound oh, like. There's the Japanese one. Like it's, the it's everywhere. Because again, tell. it deals with, you know, social issues, relationships. Baby, don't say the answer. What you do. Happy birthday. See, that was Tick Tick Boom. I'll re watching it again. It was so much fun. And yeah, and I've got all the songs re listening to them after watching it first. I feel like I didn't appreciate it. So I'm glad I've listened to them more. And now I you know, love it even more and watching it again. And everyone was so amazing in this. Andrew Garfield especially. Oh man, he just did such a good job. And yeah, hopefully we'll see more musicals with him in the future. Obviously Lin Manuel Miranda, we all know, and for his directorial debut, it makes sense that it was a musical. I actually thought originally he was doing in the Heights. So if this is the kind of thing that you like, then um why am I still wearing my earphones? This is definitely the kind of thing that you like, consider subscribing. Um, I'll, I'm trying to do a reaction to a movie once a week, but um, if you're enjoying this content, then um, yeah, watching, liking, commenting, subscribing be a great way to engage with it and let me know that you guys like this. Either either way, I'll probably still do it anyway because I'm kind of having lots of fun with it. So yeah made it to the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.